That's what I said, about a month. But I, I want to figure out what you want to do. What, what is it that Mrs. Mo wants to do? I mean, you know I'll eat, but you're right. I, I got to work out, too. That's not telling what you want. Do I want to leave? No, I don't. Well, then say that. But I thought you were, like, making a suggestion as, like, a good. you said I wouldn't be a good husband. That's my suggestion. That's my thought. Right. But you're right. So it's kind of like I don't want to leave, but I get it. Why not just say, you know something? I'll stay, but you will stay, right? Correct. Yes. Right? Your suggestion is. If you want to do it, like. You want me to? You don't want me to just do it and then I gain weight on top of it? Yeah, because you're gonna be depressed. Yes, I will. I'm right. I didn't. I'm telling myself. That. Yes, you're right, and I'm admitting to it. Fine. So I get it, but I—I I mean, I have no. There's no. There's no excuse now, because it's warming up outside. I still was. It wasn't an excuse. But I got over there and then I... I did. And so now I'm like, okay, I really better get back to, like... Mm -hmm. I know you have to be because you're always poking fun at yourself. This stomach. <laughs> this, this, that. Like you just, I know. You never speak highly of how gorgeous you really truly are. And I think that's what gives me. So when you get talking about that, that's why I always go somewhere. Right now. So. And I know it doesn't make you feel good to see me working out. It doesn't. Because you're a know. hunk. You know what I'm saying? And, and you're a hot man. So. You got other women talking about, ooh. Ooh, right. You can. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, she wasn't lying, though. She wasn't. I did. I mean, but my thing is that it should sure happen. You know what I'm I get it. Because if we're doing this and you're declining as far as emotion, then that may, that's, that means I'm doing you a disservice as a I'm not here to bring you down. I'm here to help build you up. I know, but that's why I was like, it make, I mean, I got what you were saying. Like, it wasn't like, I was like, oh, he's kicking me off the show. No, I never felt like that. I understood. Because I, I know you have fear of FOMO. Yeah. But two, I do know that I'm not healthy all the time. Far from it. Yeah, and so that's I did it. Yeah, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I, I I never felt like you were pushing me out. I understood what you were saying. But it felt and like so, you said, well, you told me. <laughs> you told me to leave. But I'm, you're, okay, I, okay, I won't say you told me. You made the suggestion that the the best thing would be to take a break so that I can focus on those things. So I was not opposed to doing that. Well, do I like being on camera with you? Yes, I do. Do I like the reviews? Yes. Am I ready to podcast? Yes. But it does make sense to say that, hey, like, but I need you to be healthy as we do this process. That makes 100% total. I mean, that, mm. like, I don't want to be like some people we see on the mukbang, they big, and then they still eating. Like, I don't want to be that person. But to me, I think when I see them on that mukbang, they look at me. But I don't think they care if they what's out there. Them, they right. like, hey, listen. I'm, I'm I fine either food. way. I don't give a and, doggone. And I don't care if I'm 500 pounds, I'm just so, going to eat this food. But I'm not like that. I like food, but I don't always agree with the weight that I've picked up. But the thing is... is but it didn't come from food either. But I think I think a lot of it stems from, you, you know, a lot of times what you're saying. Like yeah. What, what people say to you actually hurts your feelings. Yeah, it does. Because words do really, truly hurt. And they do. You know, so, um, and me, I guess I don't give a shit. No, you don't care. I, because those same words are the same words that almost had me kill myself. So, mm. I think I'm at the point where now I'm just like, okay, You've hit rock bottom. 
Like yeah. that that's how you feel. Like what you eat don't make me crap. Oh, I was like, what? Okay, got it. You know how they feel like the right. and it and it's not like people who are in the best shape. <laughs> I think mean, that's what gets it from it's it's not like it's people who how are you gonna tell and look awesome at you. Shape. Did like, you look at yourself yesterday? Like, like, Did you look at yourself this morning? Hey, like, it's not people who are in awesome shape. That, I think that's what blows my mind. Like these people are two snickers away from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's why they say it to you or when I'm not around. Yeah, because, that's like, true. Like these people, like they do. They oh, usually you, they usually do say it when you're never around. And that was like, and I, I think they're trying to, they think they're doing you, hey, uh, let me help you, but that's not a way to help. Mm -hmm. I think that's in our culture, what we do. We'll yeah. talk about you. We'll talk about you until you change it. Right. But ultimately, if you want to change it, you will change it. Right. Because some days I am comfortable, and then there's some days like that. It's like Nick picking and trying to find, yeah. it. like, you're in a, you have, you have a happy marriage, you have a happy family, you're in the career that you want to be in. But for some reason, <laughs> let me find something that really, yeah. oh, you're way. And I do, and I feel, yeah. Like, but you're gorgeous, though. Shoot. I mean, like I said, I do, like, I, like, I don't, like, I'm not winded. Like, I've been this size and been winded. Not winded. I'm not, like, sluggish. Like, I would, like, I have the energy whereas I know before I did not and I was this size so I don't know if it's like body's adapting or what or I'm just doing more but I like just, but I I know that I want to I want to be you know healthy like to be this size and then to go in and be like oh my blood pressure still is like top notch like for me that was a win I know where I was when we were visiting with auntie I was like through the roof and then to come back I and not know just, yeah I know I'm just saying and then to come back and then say blood pressure while talking <laughs> <laughs> but I, my, my, my thing as a husband being is to make sure that you like out of everything in my life besides God mm -hmm. only investment yeah I will forever invest in you period um, like and I think that's why I'm glad to sports or into different college activities, mm -hmm. school activities. Like my sole focus is on you and my family. Right. And I think that's where a lot of men miss it because they'll be watching sports when they could be spending all that right. time with their wife, constructing different ways on how to better the family. Better trips, better like, and I know if you're like, well, that that's his man time. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't take that time like, away. Yeah, I mean, I get for it for me emotionally. Right, and you, man, I'm sorry, I I can't rock with it. Like, and I know a lot of men rock with it. Like they're like, listen, um, they always say, you okay, know, you. what 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 football team you do do you like? Mm -hmm. I don't know football team. I haven't like. A football team since the 49ers when Jerry Rice was playing. I haven't liked basketball since Michael Jordan was playing. That's a long time ago. So, anything outside of that, I may rock with LeBron because he's from that always die. Other than that, I really can't. I can't feed that much energy into it. Yeah. Like they yelling at the TV, um, screaming. <laughs> you know, that's like my mom watching the soaps. You know what I'm saying? They can't hear you. This coach is stupid. He can't hear you. And I guarantee you can't do the same thing. Can't do the same thing. I think people want to live out their lives through the NBA players and the coaches and different mm -hmm. stuff like that. But ultimately, I'm not doing nothing unless I'm getting paid. So, it's like, my investment in you is like, that's why I always ask you, babe, what you want to do? Mm -hmm. Where you want to go? Like, what life do you want to live? Because I want to make sure that we are on the same plane. Yeah. Same level playing field because if I'm like extravagant, mm -hmm. like and I'm very my, my life is like the way I picture it. Yeah, it's you like are everything. Yeah, so everything is in my colon. 
It's I already want there. Go bowl in there. Right there. Like, you don't have to, yeah. Like, like COVID showed me that at some point we can be <laughs> shut down. Be locked That's true. House. And I want to have everything at my test. That's why need. I think during COVID. That makes real. sense. Now I make now I understand like why you are so. I gotta have. And I'm like, ooh, that's that's a lot for you. It. I mean, it make like that puts that into perspective because everything shut down. Then we don't have entertainment purposes. Yeah. Like right at our fingertips. So that and I mean, I that makes sense. The way the world is. Yeah, uh, crazy. Are getting killed just, just by trying to go outside. Go outside. And check my box. The normal thing. So like, I'm yeah. always thinking. And that's my thing, you know. Like, I want, you know, like I said, I I know for, you know, when I think about just family genetics and things like that, be this size and still be healthy. Like I know, like I told you before, I'm not trying to be supermodel thin like not trying to not trying to get six pack I ain't like if I can be toned and still be healthy that's you know but I think or with you like it's just like once you're consistent on it yeah like, it'll go it like and you, that's the thing yeah you know how to you <laughs> get to that point where you just let everything else distract you from yeah and I know I mean and and that and that's where I, that frustration sets in so that's kind of like with that where you don't make time for yourself and so you should kind of sh you've shown me these last few weeks like yo you got to do this if you don't do that like you know i'm not big on my nails and i'm sitting here like we got to figure out a day to get my nails done because we trying to go out to town but like even little things like that and just rekindling the self-love aspect of because it wasn't i mean you know those even though it was a month ago, but those words were a beat down. Like, yeah, that's why I ain't like, <clears throat> I don't understand. But you know, yeah, puts a damper because I was, you know, I was cool. I was cool, and then like when that said, it's kind of like I'm back at square one because these are the same things that I heard growing up, and here I am, 37, and the same, not the same people, but the same type of stuff is being said yet again, like. But to me, you're gorgeous, though. So that's the thing is that, and I think, and I always tell people, it be young people. You know, that's a cliche, but that is real life. It be young people. Like, I think I look at my circle now. My circle involves you, mom and dad. <laughs> it does. Grandma, and Papa. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I and you know. You investment people that I talk to, you know, and just like my I, sir, yeah, like I feel myself literally switching circles. But see, yeah, and see, but like you've done that, and then to an instant, like I still kind of keep contact with circles, but my even shifted though. Like, you know, the people like I hang, like I can say, because we don't really hang. But okay, with it is a different group of people with group different groups of dynamics. Like to be appreciated for just the simple thing. It's kind. I mean, it sucks because they're people. <laughs> well, I can say it sucks, but it it becomes out of mind. But eventually, it's like I want to take those relationships because they are so strong and so solid at work, and there is a connection, and then pull them out because they have the things that we are geared towards, which is, you know, church and, and family, like, or God and family. Like, mm -hmm. those are their basis, making the memories. Like, that's, that's their primary basis, and then everything else kind of. So, it's like career wise same goals personal life same goals and so i've seen that and felt that shift where i can sit and kind of talk to be very candid about even conversations we have and they're like well yeah you he, he right you gotta yourself you gotta do so it's like to be able to take that and then hear you know us be able to talk wise to wise like yeah my husband says the same thing like it brings that it's a bond Um, I mean, no, that's, that's, stuff I want. that's my whole, whole ordeal. Sorry. Like you. But yeah, I did. I said I wanted to go back into 
because I did, I enjoyed working out and I loved, I definitely, what was my thing. I like, I like the way I felt. I like the energy that I had. I like the, I mean, mentally I can find a bad place. So I can not definitely say that. So now physically and, you know, spiritually and emotionally, like I want to be able to be like solid because my fear, and I'll just be honest, my, my fear is whenever Graham does go, I don't want to spiral down. Like I don't want the food to be a crutch where I'm either not eating or overeating to compensate. Like, cause I've done that and been there, done that. So it's kind of like now while we have this steady pace of, we don't know the time, <laughs> day or the hour, have to do that well because we don't know that I want to just make sure that I'm just solid and just kind of have that focus in on building you know building me and building you know to make sure that when she does go mentally emotionally physically spiritually like I can actually process that in a healthy way instead of it being unhealthy and that's just been kind of like the thing I've been pondering is like I can't like I can't um allow myself to go okay i'm starving myself but then or, or i'm overeating like i don't want to be on either of those extremes because i've like i said i've been on both of those extremes before yeah. and so and i think that's where her holding on goes because she knows the both extremes that i can go to when it comes to just how i function with emotions and so another thing with that you know I'm sorry, all this stuff is just, I feel like it's a lot of stuff right there. I think a lot of times, I think I've dealt with death in so many ways that it's one of those things like, I really, I think I'm surprising myself how anchored I am. Mm -hmm. And my anchor is only in, you know, just, just, just me being saved. Yeah. Because I've had some deaths that literally that I feel like sometimes it's like with it it like it's supposed to be unbearable. <clears throat> yeah. But I don't carry those deaths anymore. Yeah. Like I accept those deaths and I don't question anymore why and mm -hmm. how and who God calls home. All right. So I think I'm at that point now. I'm healing a lot more. Yeah. It feels good to heal. But I think that's where I'm, I'm still going to seek some professional help. But yeah. I think it's good to actually just be able to heal. Yeah. And move forward, like the processing of it. So. But majority of them, and, and, and the main thing of it is just make sure that you are happy whatever side because you can be with a six pack and we've seen <laughs> celebrities we've seen celebrities who are gorgeous and beautiful literally take their lives yeah and i don't want you to get to a certain size trying to appease mm -hmm. people's opinions mm -hmm. and then you still be miserable right because then i'm gonna be like will smith and then i'm gonna have to slap <laughs> What's that song? I feel like Slippers Body Today. What's that? In that? No, in that? I would have to go with my boy Deacon Toby. Try Jesus. Oh. Uh, Please don't try me. Because I throw hands. <laughs> Will Smith will have no problem. <laughs> Throwing these hands. No, but, uh, but that's just, that's just where it is. You know, like, I want you to be happy in whatever shape you are in. I don't care what anybody else say outside of this house. If your husband doesn't have a problem with it, then you shouldn't have a problem with it. Even though, you know, that's just, you know, a lot of people hear that and like, oh, whatever. Uh, my cousin said, my left toe is too big. <laughs> what did your husband say? He said that my left toe is just fine. You know, like, it's, you gotta lean on your number one source, which number one is God. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, we both have our best investment in you, period. They're watching you. Well, girls are watching you. Mm -hmm. Boys are always watching you mm -hmm. <laughs> from far away. <laughs> uh, but I just want you to be happy. 
So if if your thing is to continue to do food reviews, mm -hmm. then let's continue to do food reviews. Of course, I'll wrap up because yeah. we are behind as far right. as Right, yeah, that's fine. In the uh, view, which mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, uh, for the this month, um, and, and so you just ramp you you ramp up, and then I just join in where yeah, and plus yeah. you 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 have your own segment too, where you talk about the thing that you know your unboxing segment. Yeah, unboxing I need to do one of those today. <gasps> Bam! I need to do one. That I actually need to do that today. Like seriously, did for like give for, you like hold up. What's it? Mm. Mm, it's Monday. Um, I do. I need to feed y'all. I need to really do that because I need to open. I gotta open the box. Uh, so I gotta eat their stuff. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to today's podcast. Uh, that is right. She didn't know it was a podcast, but I think this information is definitely good for oh, those who me. are struggling <laughs> with other people's <laughs> opinion. Might call this OPP. <laughs> other people's. I mean, no. OPO. I might call this OPO. <laughs> I was like, I might. Other people probably. Yeah, I know. You got what I mean? No. Yeah, you know I, what? I, I no. Uh, that, uh, it didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. Uh, but yeah, other people's opinions, please. Remember, <laughs> self care is not selfish. It's not. Take care of yourself because if you don't, who else will? Nobody. One example. When you're flying on the plane, when you're flying on the airplane, Oof. and your oxygen mask drops down, you're what do they to. always tell you to do? Put your oxygen mask on first and then help the other person. Exactly. That is you're true. You're not just... able to <laughs> they actually do tell you that, yeah. help because you up here. <gasps> yeah. Every, <laughs> every. <laughs> <laughs> About to die. <laughs> but they do. They tell you everything. Is yeah. they tell you everything first, even from the life wrap thing. They tell you to put yours on first, and then and then help somebody else. It makes like, sense at first. It sounds so. Sad. It sounds so. How so dare sad. you? Oh How my dare you God, tell me? Save yourself. Yeah. You jerk. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but. Yeah. If you if you don't have enough oxygen, you don't yeah. have enough safety. You know what I'm saying? How do you begin to save? You can. People? So. Um, that's important, and you know what you just heard. That's candid conversation. Candid Wife conversation. Wife did not know that she was on the podcast, but in the day, this is where we start off. You know, what I know. podcast and talking about food and you know in it in So, what is it going to be like? I think this might. I don't know when this is going to drop, but definitely uh, we're ramping up. Um, I got some. We got some stuff in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Not just, you know, I, I might let this go early because the Will Smith thing, this is what's popping, you know what I'm saying? We might we might tackle that again sometime with that because I, uh, in that time, then it's going to be a, a hot topic. Yeah. You know, to slap or not to slap for your wife. This is the, you know, the question, you know, um, but... People don't understand what the king has to go to go, go through to protect his king. Yeah. So. But I mean, I understand that because you've always come. I mean, I think it is something we should talk about because you have come to. I want to say the rescue, but the like you have stood take you have taken the door to stand up for me, yeah. you know, in in and a lot of yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't take no job. But you know, uh, Deacon Jay Z said it the best. <laughs> don't let the necessary occur. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So <laughs> all I need in my life is that you know y'all heard Deacon Jay Z say, Prophet Jay Z said, <laughs> "Don't let the necessary occur." So yeah. So uh, we're back. But thank you for tuning in to the Made Over Podcast. I am Mr. Made Over. Uh, and I am Mrs. Made Over. I don't know. It's, it's, it rolls off your tongue, you just say. And like we always say, roll all the time. Keep God first, and the rest will be added. And uh -huh. then, it, the, for the love of food, is just. It's always there. For some reason. But we are going to say, keep God first. And the rest will be added. Thank you for watching, and we love you. Love you, bye.